So this is our postern gate. It's a wall segment, so it's 12 inches long, uh, and it serves as a gate. It could be a standalone gatehouse, it could be the main gate of a small town, it could be a uh, sally port on a larger castle. Whatever you want to do with it, it's a solid, cool little gate uh, with lots of cool features. So let's take a look. So first off, we have this moving drawbridge. Uh, the feet are removable, so you can adjust, you can swap out different drawbridges, or you can adjust it if you have the uh, motorized winch unit, uh, so that thing goes up. Now we have a working portcullis in here. You can raise and lower, and we'll take it apart and show the inside later. Uh, we have working LEDs out here. These are modular, so you can remove them and swap out for torches or rune stones or all sorts of things, glowing mushrooms, whatever suits your fancy. Um, up above here, let's start from the top. So we have this arbalist, it's a giant crossbow. It's on a rotating stand, it comes off the stand, so if you want, you could put a flag on there. Uh, conversely, you could also take the arbalist and you could mount it up on your battlement. This. In any pole accessory hole, the flag, the arbalist, are all interchangeable. Uh, we also have a nice bucket of arrows for that. In the back, there is we have a trapdoor floor piece with a ladder, so you can get down into the gatehouse. I'll lift this off. We have this upper segment here. Uh, it is their murder hole floor, so it's got murder holes for dropping all sorts of craziness down on your enemies. And this is a slot where the portcullis, the portcullis slides up into this slot here. Uh, we've got arrow slit walls, these are city builder walls, so you can slide them in and out, change them out for something else. We have these side hinge doors, extreme offset doors on either side. It sits nice on top of this unit. On the back of this gatehouse, we have a pair of hinged double doors, which you can also remove if you wanted to just have an open archway. And finally, we have the, uh, the floor on this thing is spring release, so you can drop your enemies down into the dungeon below. This side here we have two wall segments. These have crenellations. In this wall segment, it's hollow inside. You can remove, you can open it up. You can play with no back in there. If you want to have minis, shoot out the arrow slit. Uh, the wall platform is removable. The arrow slit wall skin is removable. Six together with magnets. So you can get in there, have action in the walls. A pair of those on either side and then it's flanked by these nice beefy uh, buttress pieces these are just big and heavy and help make the thing feel fortified so you could put these on either side of your gatehouse you can put them like this you can put them in front of your arrow slits if you want it just sort of makes the whole thing feel strong and fortified and ready to defend against the enemy so there we go close it up and let the enemies batter the gates so that's our poster and gate Cool wall segment, lots of neat pieces. Uh, throw a couple corners on there and you've got a castle. Throw some more walls on there, it's a town wall. Lots of options for this thing. Hope you enjoy it.